Nick D, amazing conversation. Nick's been on just a complete, I don't even know what to call it, incredible stream of consciousness of some of the best business content out there. And it's, it's primarily based on his expertise as an independent musician, where he does a million streams a day over a billion total streams. But I believe the principles here are absolutely transferable to just about any medium. I think I'm going to coin a new term based on what we're talking about right here. I think what you're doing, and, and as an independent artist out there, this is what you should, how you should think about it, your attention stacking. Mm -hmm. So you have their attention, you're stacking on top of it, you're giving them something interesting. Not everything is shot in the same outfit. Not everything is shot wearing the same, or, or in the same location. Mm -hmm. Not everything is the same part of the song, start of it. You got to rotate it and you got to keep them interested. And like you said, um, in the marketing world, at least seven touches before somebody's a conversion. Mm -hmm. That's why you get emails from Best Buy every day. That's why you get emails from Foot Locker every day. Oh, they know eventually. Oh. Biggest conflicts with uh, <sighs> running the, the bus god shop. Yeah. And then, and then also, we, don't, we do not send emails every day. We do day. not send emails every mm -hmm. day. I could probably do once a week. But he's pointing out that principle. Exactly. It's the frequency of the emails from these corporations. And he's paralleling it to as an independent musician, as a content creator, as a whatever you want to be, aspiring YouTuber, author. It's that consistency and that frequency of exposure that's going to get someone bought in on your product. Yep. You stay top of mind for the audience. Right. Go ahead. The two months from now, you're going to spend two, $300 at a, at a clip. And I think, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, the more effective you are in getting somebody to feel something when they watch your content, the quicker they become connected to you and a fan of yours. Yeah, absolutely. I think most people's content is self-serving. Agreed. <laughs> they only... Most people's content is self-serving mm. let him unpack that he's gonna are posting because they want people to stream their stuff but if you just take care of the, the viewer mm -hmm. you'll have better success anyway you'll get to what you actually want faster if you just take mm. care if you put the other person put the viewer first sure how do we put the viewer first here zach how, would how do we put the viewer first i would say we choose topics that our people are generally interested in even though we want to do how to stay in shape in 2024 mm -hmm. and how to have a good marriage we have to do stuff more like you know, Joe Rogan reacted to a prophecy. Mm -hmm. We talk about things that the general audience finds interesting. Mm -hmm. And because you guys find these topics interesting, these are the things we talk about. We're putting other people's interests before we put our own interests. Uh, there's going to be people that watch this and like, it's too simple. There has to be more. There has to be a hack. There has to be a cheat code. There has to be five tips, quick, secret person. What we're saying is it's a very simple process. It's a very, very simple process. It's create consistently. I say it's not easy, but it is straightforward. Yeah. And that's how I put it. That's most things. Mm -hmm. Not easy, but straightforward. Long time. Mm -hmm. Alex has been posting every day for two years. He just got his, his freaking stuff to connect. He's just now finding a new audience. But if you think about any brick and mortar business, if you and I were to start a shoe store, mm -hmm. we wouldn't expect to be profitable in the first two years. You mm -hmm. never would. Right. And that's why business loans and the crippling debt that you go into with, with music, you have a relatively, and I understand there's people around the world that are experiencing poverty worse than anything I've ever nicked or ever, like I get it. But where there's a will, there's a way. There's people that are recording studio quality-esque recordings right from their phone. Mm -hmm. They're borrowing, they're, some libraries, like in Central Florida, the Orlando Library has a full-blown recording studio. I'm talking like millions of dollars. You schedule it. You schedule it. Yeah. There's a guy, Paul Russell. You probably heard him hey! recently. Hey! That's my guy. That's the guy. Uh, little boot thing. It's just song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's on like every commercial on TV. Yeah, yeah. Little boot thing. Yeah, yeah. He's having a moment. Um, his first few projects, he recorded into voice memos on his phone. He would play the beat on his computer, maybe have headphones in, record, airdrop the file, and then line it up. And that's and, and the song you have no you would have no idea. No one would know. There's plenty of records on the radio right now. There's plenty of should records. We play, that go should we play them one of the songs? Yeah. What song should we play them? What's a good song that we have together? Oh, friends. Play them friends. Show them a music video for friends. You guys should really go back and listen to this album. It slaps. But if you don't like this music, then don't be listening to it. You know, I'm just a dude that you know, or something similar. If you don't keep it real, can you? There one, medicine and the candy in terms of content. Two, putting the audience first. Three, understanding it takes time. Four, stop expecting your YouTube or your podcast career to pop because you wouldn't expect that in any other business. It takes time. It takes time to make something great and it takes yep. time to get something great in front of enough people for it to break over. The biggest companasies don't report a profit. For other I don't though. think Spotify has reported a profit yet. Yeah, it's not the same. 
It's not the same. I'm just saying, think about if people started ventures over a five-year horizon instead of over a five-month horizon. Yeah. My goal for 2024, I'm going to get YouTube going, and uh, Ruslan sit down and help me tell me about how to get a YouTube going. As I uploaded on YouTube for five years before I made any money. Five five years wah, before I made wah, any money. Wah. Right? And and you got folks thinking that they're gonna get popping in five months. Now, now there are those exceptions and there are those folks that are just anomalies, you got great personalities, they're and saying you, the right things at the that. right time. And you might be that. But if no, 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 for real. But if we <laughs> thought of things over the long haul, you don't plant apple seeds today to get apples tomorrow. Yeah. You plant apple seeds today to get apples in a couple years from now. Or maybe a, I don't know how long apple how long is apple seeds take. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, Sounds so right. I say that. And then the last thing is you do the most with what you have. Paul was recording songs that literally have millions and millions of streams, have been used in commercials by Google, by Adidas, by massive creators. And he was doing it with the voice notes app on his phone. So you do with what you have. You don't need a fancy podcast studio. You don't need a fancy YouTube streaming setup. You don't need to have everything perfect. You start with where you're at and you do the best with what you have. So there it is. There's the, the simple but easy. I like it. Hey, thank you so much for watching that video. Listen, I believe one of the best ways to build any business or any venture is to build your own online presence, specifically through the platform of YouTube. That's what we've been able to do. So if you would like to see a free training put together by our COO, Zach Sparazzo, on the number one ingredient and the step needed to begin to build your own online platform, make sure to hit the pinned comment below and sign up for our weekly email list where we'll get that to you right away. And I'll be sending you different emails about lessons I'm learning in real time doing everything that we're doing here at King's Dream Entertainment. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.